Here's the startup screen to carry out some research and find out keyword ideas that would be useful to your website. Move to the top. There's a Tools and Analysis tab. Click on that and you will see halfway down the keyword tool. This is the tool that we need for you know, our first stage of research. A lady I've been talking to locally has been wondering how she can improve the rankings of her holistic therapies, complementary therapies uh, practice. So type in something that's relevant and because this is about getting your local business ranked I am going to add in the locality that where we're working and then we'll search for ideas. When the Google monster has chewed all its data it'll spit it out in a series of groups these groups are arranged in a way that is appropriate to a person who is about to set off on a AdWords advertising campaign. Now that isn't relevant for our ideas search. So we go over here to keyword ideas, we click on that tab and as you will see we have 192 ideas that it's come up with. The headings are important. This column here has all the keywords. This tells you roughly how competitive the keyword is. Uh, this tells you the searches that happen in a month, roughly, in Google. Don't ever believe this data is absolute gospel truth. What it does do, it does tell you a sort of a, a comparative figure. It gives you an idea for how much search is happening. Local monthly searches for a UK-based company. This is our column of interest for the numbers. Now. Google's idea of local and your idea of local as a business owner differs slightly. Local to Google means within that country. So these are the searches within google.co.uk, our local UK Google. Whereas your local area to a business is Carlisle in the case of myself and the lady I was speaking to. So let's have a look what we got. Currently, these results are sorted by relevance to the term. So let's have a look. Um, holistic therapies, that looks relevant. The training, uh, she's not. I don't think she's interested in getting people in for training, so she's not looking for people who are searching for holistic therapies training. The trick is to go down this list and everything that appears reasonably um, relevant, just grab it for the moment. You, what you want here is a list of ideas for the moment. A therapist, that's quite well targeted, a complementary therapist, holistic therapy massage, alternative therapies, courses not relevant. I don't think she would describe herself as a, as a sports masseur yet. Um, beauty therapy, Reiki, and you'd work your way down picking more and more as you go. Now, once you just before you do anything else with them have a look across here you're looking for keywords really that nationally have got you know pretty much a thousand searches unless it's a very very well focused keyword um, you'll notice London crops up a lot but you're not likely to see a huge amount of Carlisle keywords cropping up so let's just see if we can find anything in Google's date yeah look at this Massage, Carlisle, a little place like ours, probably 720 searches a month. So that's that's worth that's worth uh, bearing in mind. That's possibly, uh, you know, inflated by data from Carlisle in Pennsylvania, Carlisle in uh, Australia, but 720 that say massage Carlisle on. Google.co.uk suggests there's quite a bit of traffic for it, and the competition is just medium, so that's a worthwhile. So these are the sorts of judgments you have to draw. Uh, Carlisle Therapies, now I believe that's a brand name. It might be worth keeping an eye on that. Oh, there's only 73 searches, but 73 that are just Carlisle. Well, yeah, we'll keep that one in mind, and we'd go through having a look at what there is. I'm going to pause the video here while I make that selection.
Okay, it's taken a few minutes to uh, make a selection. Uh, I've chosen some very low volume keywords because they are very focused, very relevant to, say, a practice that is setting up in Carlisle, in Cumbria. That's that's a that's a very targeted search. It's always a good one to be top of the pile for. Okay, what can you do with those now you've uh, selected them? You can view them as text. My keyword ideas. The uh, program then copies them to the clipboard. I'll control C just to make sure. And then I've opened up Notepad, and I can type that list in there. So I've got the words. However, what I prefer to do, if you want to keep that data, download, and it's my keyword ideas, the selection you've made. I've got 42 that I've selected, and I want to download them as a CSV file so that I can put them into, into Excel and kind of keep the keywords and the data so I can make other judgments about them. So I download that. Once it's got underway, I can dismiss this window. It will just take a few minutes, so I'll pause. The download window will eventually open up. Stick it somewhere. I'm just going to pop mine into the download folder. I save that, and now I can open it up. And once it pops up into uh, Excel, I can expand those columns a little bit. And I can actually sort of sit back and you know take me time looking at that data so we'll move that out of the way so that is the um, main use that you will make of the keywords tool at first but there is a pretty useful trick you can do for sussing out the competition so I'm just going to open a new tab and I'm going to pop the that keyword phrase in there so control V Holistic Therapy Carlisle. Okay, so now I can have a look at what my competition is. So our therapists, this is the therapy centre from Carlisle, and this is a genuine Carlisle business. What I'm doing now, I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to take that in there. I'm going to paste the URL into there. And this time, I'm going to search using just that URL and just occasionally you pick up on uh, terms that haven't already been uh, highlighted in the uh, in the keys this time it's only picked up a hundred key terms and again you'd have to go through the process of searching weighing up and selecting and copying out to that spreadsheet again right so that's the starting point I hope it's been helpful that's all for this particular video snippet and we'll be back with more ways to help you optimize your web presence.